mailbag again and it's only two items uh, so uh, things are slowly getting back uh, to normal uh, at least for me and um, yeah well uh, let's dig in with uh, the bigger one first oh yeah nice big amazon package And it contains, oh, wow, I mean, wow, it contains basically, <laughs> really, oh, wow, okay, uh, nice carton though, I always have a carton, so it contains these wonderful LEDs and uh, yeah, these are five millimeters UV 390 nanometers. Okay, let's have a look at that. And there should be a hundred in there. And they are from uh, oh, a German shop. Yeah. LEDs work. Yeah, uh, go to the web address if you want to. Um, or is it LED basic? Well, uh, we have a uh, at the Amazon listing uh, look later on but uh, what's interesting about these is and I think I have to uh, go a little bit nearer so there should be 100 in here we'll see I, I won't count them now but uh, 100 we need to get a little bit closer huh? So these are, can I get a focus, so I better zoom, huh? Yeah. These are straw hats, so they are very, very short. Uh, in fact, if I measure that, that should give me an accurate reading, if I can do it. So yeah, 4.6, yeah, let's say, let's say 4.7, just to be on the safe side. So only 4.7 high and a uh, diameter yeah a little over five five point four and at the base not at the flat portion uh, sorry, <clears throat> yeah, this is all very tiny. We have five point, yeah, let's say five point eight, five point seven five, five point eight. So and uh, the chip itself from the base, that's also a very interesting measurement, is approximately, approximately. Is that okay I'm doing here? Yeah. 
the chip from the base is only 3.5 and um, yeah I show you in a minute uh, why that is so important so this was the Amazon listing and I showed the English listing in uh, just the jiffy so uh, 100 uh, or oh, let's start with the English listing uh, okay for your German guys that is the German Amazon listing thank you very much um, okay so uh, yeah 100 pieces LED 5 millimeter stride UV ultraviolet short head flat head 110 degrees yeah opening yeah the angle the optical angle 390 millimeters and uh, it was uh, 12 hour 90 free shipping and uh, they are okay uh, sorry oh, trying to focus here they are 3.3 volts 20 milliamps so nothing fancy uh, 350 micro candela mm, okay um, <clears throat> but and I think I'm uh, zooming in a little bit on that one so first of all these got very good reviews five stars uh, respectively three five star one four star and uh, one guy built an UV exposure unit yeah for boards what else and uh, <laughs> uh, so he used 8 by 12 matrix of 8 by 12 diodes so that's uh, 69 69 diodes and uh, he had uh, exposure time of 2 minutes 20 seconds and he said something about a 3 euro board perf board probably he uh, built that on so we can um, pretty sure and oh yeah uh, distance distance to the diodes seven centimeters so uh, yeah from the price of the ball of the perf board I can uh, infer that it is uh, okay a euro format a euro board which is uh, 100 millimeters by 160 millimeters or an inch about uh, four inch and oh, 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 oh um 50 uh, oh, at least at least uh, six and uh, six and two fifth yeah I'm getting imperial six and two fifth inch uh, something like that um yeah I show you one in a minute and um, okay and there's a second guy there's the second guy who took 200 yeah on four boards of that size and he had a distance of 55 millimeters and he comes to exposure times of 2.5 minutes there are two guys who used these to build uv exposure units 
for photosensitive bulbs. Brilliant. So, yeah, we will come back to that. And um, first, I I'm tempted to test one. Yeah, uh, it says twenty milliampers, uh, milliamps, three point three volts. Uh, let's test that, and uh, I will get my sunglasses out. Just uh, yeah, to be sure. So uh, yeah, my trusty uh, revamped thirty year, thirty five plus year old power supply. Uh, maybe I put a card link and so on. Uh, but more uh, important, uh, it goes into the milliamp range of that multimeter and then through, uh, yeah, out of screen, uh, through a 1K resistor, the little guy here, into the diode. And I measure the voltage uh, across the diode here and uh, let's see what happens. Uh, it says 3.3 uh, volts, 20 milliamps. Well, we see. So 2 volt nothing, 2 4, 2 5, 2 6, 2 7. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, let's say. At 275, um, just because, uh, yeah, you know, uh, these things here, uh, 100 for 12 bucks, they are not really characterized, but we can do it. I mean, at least roughly. So we have uh, at 2.75 volts, we get 1 milliamp, and then we can. Turn it up and this should go. Oh, let's go 2777, 2 milliamps, 278, 3. Oh, this is 285 milliamps. Let's go up to 10 milliamps. I don't know, can you see the glow? You probably can't see the glow. Uh, let me switch off. Uh, I mean, it's mostly UV. So, but uh, we are now at 2.83 volts and putting 10 milliamps through the thing. So, let me put the lights out just for a second. Maybe you can see the glow. Whoa! Yeah. Very faint. If I can find the light switch again. I did find the light switch again. And oopsie. These are O point. Yeah. Hmm. Helps if you read the uh, meter correctly. <laughs> 0 0.2 milliamps we have at 2.86 volts. You should see it glowing. And uh, yeah. The, I don't have sunglasses on, but uh, the radiation is clearly going upwards, uh, not towards me, so I'm safe. 0.5 milliamps, we have now 2.9 volts. Let's go for 1 milliamp, 2.93 volts, 2 milliamps, 2.97. And you see how, how, uh, uh, yeah, how steep the curve now is 5 milliamps we are at 3.04 10 milliamps we're at 3.12 and let's see where we are at 20 milliamps now i have to get my sunglasses because i mean this is uv i, I will uh, switch the light off again in a second and uh, yell at you from the corner of the room where the light switch is uh, uh, okay um, 
Jawohl, 20 milliamps at 3.22. Um, let me get to another range and let's see what happens if I fire 3.3 volts. Okay, I cannot really reach 3.3 volts with a 1K resistor, but uh, yeah, 3.3 volts would be uh, yeah. I get another resistor. I will uh, turn the lights out. Then you have a little light show here. Oh, look at the UV effects. And um, then we go to uh, the advertised um, forward voltage of 3.3 uh, volts. Okay, light show. Ooh, yeah. Getting some suntan here. So I'm back uh, at uh, 380. Uh, 600 is a six, six, 680 ohms resistor. So uh, we can crawl back up. Uh, I think we were at 322 and 20 milliamps. Whoa, okay. Maybe I kill that one. At 3.3 volts, 29.2 milliamps, which is certainly not the way to drive a 20 milliamp diode, is it? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm taking the diode out of the equation and yeah maybe we just uh, take another random example and stick that in Stick it here in the back. So that one is also 20 milliamps at 3.18 and at 3.3 .3 volts. Oh, I think we have a runaway diode here, huh? But uh, seriously, um, Yeah, running these things at 3.3 volts forward voltage. Uh, um, yeah, they suddenly will put out a lot of light, but uh, yeah, it says current 20 milliamps. Hmm. Okay. Uh, there's another thing and uh, it's night now and uh, that's a good possibility to test it. So I leave the settings as they are and um, I want to see if this really, really uh, is shooting out uh, uh, in a 110 degree angle. That's okay, don't, don't, don't make a short. Or I blow the fuse on the amps range here. Now the easiest way to test that would be to put the diode in the front bend it over. I hope it still has connection. We'll see it right away. So now, uh, wait, I will change the perspective a little. Yeah, you, you already can see this. Uh, yeah, that's from the diode. 
UV makes funny patterns on uh, CCD devices like uh, in this iPad and I get a sheet of paper and uh, then we make a little experiment just a second. Now we are currently running at oh, 23 milliamps. Uh, just tune that down. Uh, it's out of shot. Right. Looking here at the instrument. The oh, sorry. Things are getting ugly. So 20 milliamps. Um, getting the cables out of the way. These are about 10 centimeters or yeah, uh, roughly four inches. And this is approximately uh, the folded up part in, uh, yeah, um, right angle. And now we'll switch off the lights and hopefully find back to you. Okay, picking up the microphone again and uh, but interestingly you can see two lines going roughly out here. So that's the outer, really the outer as a limit where there's some intensity. And then you have this, and it's better to see on the camera, interestingly. Um, so I'm doing this following, looking at the camera and not at the paper. You have this zone. And then you have this high intensity zone. And if you look here, you have really, yeah, starting from here. Oh, this is not so easy. You have about this pattern here. And this, this might be even 110 degrees. We will uh, we'll take a, yeah, you know, a triangle out and we can measure that uh, then on paper. And the reason you see that so beautifully on white paper is if you really buy, uh, sorry, I have to switch the light on just a second. The reason you have these intensive glows is that uh, things, white colors uh, or white dyes uh, for paper or even in uh, uh, detergents for washing your white clothes contain uh, chemicals which take ultraviolet light and transfer it into the visible spectrum. So the, yeah, whatever you look at, the very white paper or your white t-shirt looks even whiter than it actually is because it transfers invisible UV light into visible light. Yeah, it kind of, yeah, okay, uh, all physics guys now kill me. Uh, it basically, instead of just reflecting light, it becomes kind of a visible light light source powered by the invisible UV light and sunlight. You get my drift, but this is not a physics channel, obviously. Um, yeah, let's measure this stuff here. So I took uh, uh, the doll uh, triangle ruler and um, I measured from the center line the angles of uh, that were the hand drawn lines. Um, 
the outer edge of what was visible to us and uh, I've drawn in uh, the advertised 110 degree lines. So this is actually uh, then 55 degree to one side and 55 degree to the other side and uh, yeah, uh, nothing to complain about. Um, the only thing is, um, is that was the cone uh, to our uh, yeah, target surface with a really high intensity and this was the intensity pattern I tried to follow just looking at the iPad what the camera saw and uh, yeah the intensity is not very evenly uh, distributed and uh, if you are into radio frequency stuff or antennas also uh, you might recognize these kinds of patterns because uh, well not exactly that pattern but uh, directional antennas also distribute the electromagnetic energy they emit according to such nice interesting patterns that have uh, bulbs and uh, yeah uh, some have uh, or lobes uh, the RF guy call it call them lobes uh, could be for example I won't do it uh, here in this drawing there could be a lobe suddenly here and here coming out also if you look at uh, the antenna and how it's transmitting also all quite interesting but um, yeah these work as advertised there might not be the absolute highest uh, quality and uh, the specified 3.3 volts forward voltage might probably kill them over time or at least uh, yeah they would then draw 30 milliamps about ish 30 milliamps instead of 20 milliamps and that would be uh, a wee bit too much I guess um, anyway um, we have another package in the mail and we shall open it yeah it's getting a little bit crowded here so uh, just bear with me this will be not a complete review Ah, the Amazon tab that is actually working. Wow, what's the first one? Oh, almost working. So that's very flat and it contains something even more flat, which is, yeah, can you read that? course you can read it. Made in China. Well, Masterhawk, two pieces. I, okay, um, zooming in. Uh, two pieces I2C OLED screen driver, DC. And they are new, not used. That's not, it's good. Uh, let me focus back down. Thank you very much. I mean, there is that guy who always curses his, his camera for not uh, focusing. And uh, I mean, if you curse at your camera all the time, why, why, why do you, ex what do you expect from that camera? Yeah, To focus? No. I mean, if my boss would curse at me all the time, I would say, oh, uh, Thank you very much, but no thank you and goodbye. So, yeah, double packed in uh, real anti static bags. We have here two very small OLED displays. And oh, they are very neat and small. Hmm. Let's sorry. 
doing that in one shot let's get closer okay and that baggie is a little bit reflective so let's get rid of it so two OLEDs and let's zoom in all the way so there's nothing much on it here uh, you have a four pin connection ground vcc and the scl and the sda uh, for your i2c bus and uh, you have a little i guess voltage regulator some passives and I have no idea where they actually <laughs> put the control chip for that. Maybe it's integrated on the glass. Yeah, and I won't try to uh, get these things working now live on camera with downloading software that might be a special review but i can show you the amazon listing just oh, this is a big finger uh show you the amazon listing just a second so that was the amazon listing uh two pieces of these nice microscopic olive displays for currently 1099 and the important thing here is they have a resolution of 128 by 32 so and the important thing here is uh, you're searching for the SSD 1309 that's uh, yeah I'll zoom in a little bit you're searching for the SSD 1306 OLED 128 by 32. They are also available in 64. Uh, then they are obviously uh, yeah bigger. Um, but I wanted the small ones. And uh, the important thing is obviously I haven't tested it yet. Uh, but for the SSD 1306 controller chip, there are Arduino libraries available and not only one, but uh, so far, and I will make a video about it, of course, uh, I counted uh, three different libraries for uh, driving OLEDs with that kind of chip. And uh, yeah, it's always good to have a choice. So, but... What does that all mean? My little OLED displays and 100 UV LEDs. And here comes my plan. Uh, you probably already guessed. Now, not too long ago, I uh, teared down this old Canon scanner uh, card link the usual and uh, it has a nice glass plate and uh, a nice cover with uh, presses things on the glass plate very evenly and uh, it has a, a nice white body the only drawback here is um, that I have only very limited um, yeah, height available between uh, the bottom of the thing and uh, where the glass plate starts. And so, in order, and that's the plan to turn that in an UV exposure unit, um, I have uh, to find light sources like these, uh, where are they? these straw hat LEDs which are very flat and uh, yeah can produce a very uniform 
ultraviolet light stream at a very short distance. And uh, we'll see how this works all out. Uh, at the front, uh, that's also obvious why I need some very small <laughs> displays. So there will be a little cutout for the OLED display. And then I have, these are not, yeah, look at the video. Uh, this is just plastic. Uh, the tactile switches I have to mount behind that thing. And uh, can I find it? Oh yeah. And they are not even surface mount. I think I can uh, reuse the original tactile switches. Yeah, why not? Maybe I just even saw off uh, <laughs> that part of the board because I know that that fits uh, instead of fiddling around and trying to solder them onto something that does fit. Uh, yeah, places for screws. To put them down. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, just feel that's a multi-layer board. Uh, okay, uh, anyway, that would be the next small project if it works out. And yeah, that was uh, the mailbag for today and my desk is now Warning, shake cam ahead. My desk is now really a mess. Bye.